My name is Dave Sankey, and I do the technology classes right here at Westwood Middle School. I'm going to take you through my homepage. This is just at mrsankey.com, M-R-S-A-N-K-E-Y.com. So here on my webpage is the flowchart of what the students do in my class as they're moving through the computer courses. The only thing not here is robotics, which they do at the same time. All students go to the communications unit, and then they can do multimedia and or Spark. And then they have choices. They can go through this list, the programming module. Once they're complete with that, that opens up a bunch of other stuff. But then there's other stuff down here as well. Here on the left are links to all of that. And if you click on something, it will jump down. But I'm just going to take you through most of these right now. I have personally ranked these courses based on my experience with them. The first is content. Is there good content within this unit? That's always my number one concern. Next is the delivery. Sometimes they have really good content, but the delivery is awful. Uh, X Robotics is our flagship program. I give it a 10 out of 10 all the way. The students look at the new game for the year. They create a robot. They document the process. And then we go to competitions to see how good they really are. This is a project that lasts throughout the year beyond just a semester. So they would need to be in the class for an entire year to take the robotics elective. We are also the only middle school that offers both VexIQ and VRC. VRC is larger metal robots, and the VRC game is always two versus two. So in the VexIQ game, it's plastic parts, and they're always working together. In the VRC game, there is defense. So you will try to score, and someone will try to mess up your game. And Code Create is a great unit. It is actually a course that's designed for high school freshmen, but I give them to my sixth graders and I say, go get it. I make them work through the content asynchronously online. They always have a number of questions, but most of our students get through this unit without too much trouble. XVR is a nice little unit where students can learn the basics of coding a robot to do certain things on the field. VR means virtual robot, not virtual reality. Fable Vision Animation Ish is one of our most popular programs and involves going through the steps of animation by Walt Disney that teaches the kids all about how animators do what they do, not just the drawing part, but by working together, working with a director and a producer. It is one of the most requested units that we have here at Westwood. There are 10 ICT courses here, starting with communications. Communications is the course that everybody starts with. And then cybersecurity, everyone does that test with the communications test because they basically cover the same content. Database is a nice little unit. They can also do the access training in MindTap while they do this to kind of bolden up those skills a little bit. The database unit that they gave us doesn't really cover everything as well, but if they take the access training, they can get that hands-on experience to make sure they know what they're doing. We have a couple of these that go together, gaming and programming and logic. Those two go together very well, and they are a couple of our most popular units. Gaming and programming both use Scratch so that the kids get hand-on skills so that they can take what they're learning and put it to practical use. These are one of the most favorite units that the kids have here. They love this one. The Multimedia Essentials Unit teaches the kids the basics of presentations and making images and making videos and about the different types of images that they can make. Spreadsheet Essentials and Word Processing are done strictly through MindTap, which we'll describe below. Web Design Essentials is a nice little unit that teaches the kids the basics of how HTML works, and we also do have some Khan Academy units that go with it so that they can have hands-on training in that as well. So as they're editing the code, they can see exactly what it's going to look like on the other side of the screen. MindTap is our office training software. I give the content an 8 and the delivery of a 5. Some of the initial training and exams are a little dry, so I just warn the kids about that right as we start. But once they get into actually using the applications, it's a very good hands-on type activity where they can learn the basics of these programs. Students who take the time to learn Excel and Access are gaining skills that most people don't have. So I do encourage them to go into that if they have the bandwidth to do so. Coding of Minecraft should be one of my best units. A lot of the kids are already familiar with Minecraft and they go into the world and there are lessons built into it and the kids learn a lot as they go through it. Unfortunately, the, the training is kind of buggy how it was put together, so there are some delivery issues. But when it does work, it, it is one of the best training. This is what the agent looks like here, and they program it to go around and build things, and it teaches them programming concepts so they can learn 
how to use loops, and if then, like if a block is this, then do something else. FabMaker is a wonderful unit, it is basically a pre-engineering curriculum, which we don't offer too much of that in any part in our public schools. So I was happy to add this into the mix. Students are able to take cardstock and make structures. So they can build, they design in the software, they can do a step pyramid here, or a little house over here, and they do all the design in there, and then we have a silhouette, so it comes over and it cuts them all out, and it's very cool. We also offer Unity here at Westwood. Unity is a commercial software used to make games. I basically just put them on the website. I don't know a ton about Unity, but the training on the website is really good. And just by popular demand, kids love using Unity. So I let them work on it. And like I said, I'm not terribly helpful with this, but they generally don't need my help. The training on the website is almost so easy that they don't need help as long as they're paying attention. Our Python training is Codesters. The content and delivery are both pretty good. It starts out as a drag and drop kind of deal, but once they're used to coding in Python, then they are able to just type it out straight up. There's projects at the end to make sure that they are learning everything they need to learn as they're going through the unit. And this also ties in with one of our digital tool exams. And finally, we have our Gmetrics and Certiport training over a variety of topics. The first one we have is Spark Digital Literacy, which is three different tests here and digital literacy under GS6. Honestly, a lot of these cover the same topics. It is using computers, different components of computers, different USB ports, different programs they use, but it's all at a pretty basic, straightforward level. So it just really covers the basics of a lot of different things that kids need to know about computers.